Hi everyone, welcome back to Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for hope is God said your love is special for your partner. You care for them a lot. You care for your partner a lot. And I want you to understand what you share is special. If you know what you share with each other is special, keep it between you and them. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 and 31 through 32, it says husbands and wives should treat one another with love. It's important that you treat each other with love, you know. You don't want to be arguing, yelling, and um, streaming and just doing anything. It's important that you love one another, you know, take care of one another, you know. You signed this contract of marriage. So if you know that you signed this, this is something that you need to stand on, you know, to death do us part. You need to be with this person to the end. All that cheating and all that being slick and trying to do the things that you think that is right, you know, you got you got to get some counseling. Some of you that is watching me, you you got married just for cloud. You got married because you just didn't want people to see that you were sinning. But listen, when you get married. You make sure you respect your husband, you respect your wife, you make sure you stand up for each other. Don't be, you know, being disrespectful, you know, treating each other wrong and saying, I hate you, I wish I, I wasn't with you and all this. It's important that you love your husband, that you love your wife, and, and you treat them, you know, right. You treat them with love, you treat them with respect, you treat them... And you, you, you know, you do what you need to do because at the end of the day, you know, you don't want to be mean and angry with your spouse, you know, and doing anything in your marriage. It's important that you, you come home and you eat dinner together and you share, you know, how was your day and all of this and, you know, pray together. It's important that you keep God in the center, the first and the last in your relationship. Because when you put God first, you can never go wrong. You understand what I'm saying? You can never go wrong because the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil will do whatever he can to distract your mind and your marriage. That's why it's important when you marry to have a covenant with God. Make sure you you have you, your spouse, and God. Make sure you pray. Make sure you fast. And make sure... You're seeking God because the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. You have to make sure you're praying for one another. You have to make sure you're standing in the gap for each other. You have to make sure you're doing your part as a couple. Because if you don't, guess what? Things in, in your marriage are going to fall apart. Things around you are going to fall apart. So please do whatever you need to do to make your marriage work. Make sure you put God first. Make sure you're praying, you're fasting. Make sure you're seeking God. Make sure you're doing whatever you need to do and stay on the altar. When you see some things going on in your marriage, when you see some things going on in your partner, you pray for them. Lord, he not listening. He not being obedient. He not going to church. You know, show him how to do right. Teach him how to be obedient. You pray for your spouse. You pray for them and God will work it out. Okay? So you, you keep praying for them. You keep telling God what's on your heart. And God will work it out, okay? So be encouraged. Don't give up. Pray about all things. God bless you all. Have a great, beautiful day. Thank you for watching. Take care.